the boy looks just like you. That's good. They, they just, they, they, a lot of people from the outside think that that situation is sad, man. The child can't come. Yeah, to it is sad. It's a sad situation, right? And when you pray for success, you don't necessarily pray for the things that come with it, right? And there's no such thing as success without jealousy, without envy or entitlement. If I told you right now, right, you got to start your life over right now with 6700 a month and rebuild your life. Yes. Can you do it? <laughs> Can you do it? My man, the average income for a family in America is about 87000 a year. That's mom and pops working 40 to 50 hours each a week. You're getting it for the low, low men for free. And you complaining, can you do it? 6700 a month, bro? Ain't no taxes being paid on that, bro. It goes straight to your pocket. 6700 I'm good. That's Scream at that boy. I'm comparing it yes. to yourself. 6700 a month. Marquise, I know you feel... Like that ain't a lot of money, but it's a lot of people here watching right now. And girls that's getting two hundred dollars a month child support. Most men can't crack forty k a year. This guy's getting eighty bands a year for free, and he's complaining. Let's go back to the clip. Entitlement is growing in someone you love, and the scariest part, right? And his mom developed an entitlement that cannot be met. Filtering that energy through his his actual personal interests. Let's say now that he's starting to like females, he's conscious of what kind of shoes he want to wear. Um, I need these Jordans, the retro Jordans is coming, different things. And then his mother go, all right, I'll get them for you. But it just bothers me because you're supposed to have them all. It's insane the amount of boys that don't have their fathers in their lives simply because their mother poisons their minds with shit like this. And you want to know what's crazy? Or Initially, he was getting 25000 a month, and the mom felt like she should be getting 50. So 50 said, I bet, say less. Took her to court. You know, 50 is a G. <laughs> he don't take losses. And they dropped to the six or 700. While being a privileged child, he feels deprived. When you had everything I didn't have. I can tell you how much my kids cost. In New York State, 1.360. You see what I'm saying? And, and I don't have an issue with paying the support. The reason why I'm the way I am with those kind of situations, I pay my support that year that the baby's born. It's a 25-year-old man. Move the money to the account, let it, and it, and it autom automatically disperses a certain amount of money per, per you know, each each month. So with, with him, I, I, I noticed over the years I get developed, because I blamed on his mom for a long time. But it's not his mother, it's him. Like, I'm going places where he was at, he left. That's a very good point he's making there. It does get to the point that as a man, you got to start thinking like, wait, wait, what's going on over here? You know, what's really going on over here? And start questioning things or at least look for your father and at least have a conversation, especially when he's reaching for you. This kid, man, he could have been Canaan in power. He looked more like 50 than 50. Like, his life would have been set if he would have looked for his father, but instead he decided to listen to his toxic mother who brainwashing him and thinking he had nothing when he had everything. If you love yourself, I used to. You ask yourself how long, a complicated question would say, how long can you love something that don't love you back? Mm. You see, so in, in this experience, you look and you say, I, I didn't think success would cost me my firstborn, but it's the situation. It's like my grandfather would say, if I rattled like a snake, if it slid like a snake, is it a snake or do you need to be bit? Right? And that's the Aiken, South Carolina, and I'm just the country, she'll say. And what he keeps saying is every time you see the boy, he's, he's short with somebody you got a problem with. What does that take? No good. People will always try to make relationships on a common bond of disliking someone. Be friends with you because your enemy is my enemy. And he sees himself that way. To the extent where he's, he's actually taking pictures with Prem son or, or doing different things that... And you go, well, I'm like, I don't even understand where your motivation comes from with these things, but... Can you excuse any of that? Because of how young he is. No, he's 23 years old, 24 years old. He's 25 now. It's not a baby no more. It's a grown man. Grown See, ass man. They, I look at you as you've grown, your decisions that you make, as you start to pass what they would have did to us. They would have they would have charged me like an adult at 15. So at 23, it's like you grown, grown in my head. My homeboys, they had their babies at 15. At that point in the neighborhood, that was when you actually got into... We, we started to, to Yo, Fifth is a real one always, man. His God is always up. He was about to incriminate himself, man. Fifteen, that's when we started robbing, shooting, selling drugs. He, he caught himself. He's like, oh shit, chill. The sexual thing 
<laughs> you know, what I mean? it's something that really to, and everybody, 15, 16 years old was the point that he was having kids. So, like, I, I was super late with him. I didn't want to have, you know, something that I didn't actually connect with because we both was babies, mm. you know, at that point. And then later, you know, I mean, it did, does, all these things don't turn out the way you want to like. 50 Cent is a very wise man. So, if his son is not in his life, believe me when I tell you, I always knew that it was the baby mother's fault. We all seen this shit happen, man. Your father ain't shit. Like, <laughs> supposed to have them all, man. He already has it all. It does, doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? And what would have to happen for you guys to have a relationship again? I don't know. Like, I ran into him one time. This, this is ill, right? Right after, um, it was two months before his support was finished. Right? And at the time, he's standing at the actual, the desk, talking to the jeweler. And he had, he had a small diamond chain, two small diamond chains, trying to get a bigger diamond chain, right? Trading them. See how much you get that one. And I walked in, he goes, oh, you have somebody like, like watching me? I said, nah. He said, oh, so coincidence? He said, yeah, yeah, coincidence. Then he turned back to the jeweler. He goes back to talking to the jeweler. And he's like, nah, nah, I can't do that. Now I'm like, because of how much the jeweler's asking him for. So he can't do a booth. 50 Cent, like this stupid motherfucker could have had it all. If it simply said, yo, Pops, you know what, man? Let's have a conversation. Like, man, I'm sorry. I was young. I was confused. My mother was putting certain ideas in my mind. I wasn't acting right. He would have still been in power, bro. Kenny would have never died. Negotiating, putting two small diamond chains back to get a bigger diamond chain <laughs> with the money I'm mailing it. <laughs> His mother never had, she never had a job. She didn't do nothing. I would have questioned whether I was wrong if she did something after the fact. She genuinely did not want to do nothing. This girl looked me in my face and told me, like, she was like, you bought Mike Tyson's house? I said, yeah. She said, why you ain't telling me this? I said, because you ain't moving in. She, well, I would have had to leave them in Mike Tyson's house. <laughs> he said, because you ain't moving there, bitch. The fuck you mean why I tell you? There's an old lady in them there when I got it. You see what I'm saying? So, because they would have said he's accustomed to this lifestyle and this is what he would have It would have changed the whole scenario. So, when... I said, nah, you got to go. You're going to get a place over here. I, I gave her the same money that I gave my grandmother to buy my grandmother's house for her to pick out a house and buy her house. And you go there until you figure out what you want to do. You don't want to do nothing. You're not coming with me stand like that. <laughs> she was like, you did it already. Don't nobody work if they don't have to work. You already did it. Ooh, that's that her mentality. Feeling like the, the records you already sold. If I was thinking like that, that's who I was. Because if you think about it, a lot of people, like when I, in the book, I say when you hustle, right? When you hustle, you adapt a mentality. You live by those ways, right? If you, if you get, experience a setback, it's okay. It's, a, it's always, you know, the setback is for the get back. It's for, you know, for you to feel that, that low, the way you feel when something goes bad. Damn, it's for how it feels when it's going right, right? So you can actually feel that, you experience that joy at that point. And then you are, you could be getting money. Holy sweet, but you got, you got three people busted at one time. You got to bail all of them out. I pay lawyer fees for all of them. You got to have all the, your money that you had in the bag that you felt was just yours and profits is now taken out of your profits and placed in to the necessity of keeping you functional. Don't ever let a woman, people, prevent you from chasing the bag. She thought, oh, you're already rich. You don't have to work ever again. Let's just be bums together like money don't run out. Don't ever let a woman, man, stop you from your grind, bro. Because at the end of the day, when the money stops, guess what? She's going to jump ship. She's going to jump onto the next fucking guy. We as, as men have to start coming to the conclusion that a lot of our mothers ain't shit. They didn't have your father in your life. He tried to come around, tried to explain things to you, and you never listened to him. I've personally seen women chase their son's fathers away. How many years does it take of this kind of psychological abuse, right? And the manipulation tactics, the screaming and cursing, before a man says, you know what, man, I can't deal with this anymore. This is crazy. Then the courts get involved too. I hear a grown ass man, court still got him paying six or seven hundred a month. He's probably a college student, that's why they extended it. But still, man, he's a grown ass man. Either look for your father or go be your own man. Make sure you subscribe, guys, if you like the content, and check out the merch store below. Peace.